Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today we're reviewing the newly released Ride One Up Taurus. This is a touring e-bike, something that straddles the line between a light duty mountain bike and still an urban bike that you can go commuting on. Let's see how it works in both worlds. As a touring e-bike, the Ride One Up Taurus mixes a bit of urban cruising with off-road riding. For example, the fairly upright frame and riser handlebars seem more at home in the city where you'd want that posture for a more relaxed ride. But the 100mm front suspension fork and those knobby tires give the bike better performance when you get it out on the trails, which is what makes the tourist so much fun as a dual purpose e-bike. Now, is this a heavy-duty off-roading mountain bike? Of course not. You're not gonna be taking this on the twisty single track. You're not gonna be doing downhill trails, that sort of thing. But what this really is good for is the type of, you know, nature trails, rails to trails networks, that kind of stuff, where you're getting out in nature, having some fun, using that suspension, using those knobby tires, but not doing anything too crazy that you'd need a higher-end dedicated mountain bike for. For the type of person who wants a dual duty bike, something you can commute with during the week and take to the trails and have fun with over the weekend, I think this is a great option without breaking the bank. And the price of $1,295 is really the cherry on top here because you're getting a lot for that fair price. And speaking of what you're getting, if you do decide to pull the trigger on a Taurus and my review helped you, I hope you'll use my affiliate link in the description below. It takes you to the best current sale price and also helps support me making these videos. So back to what you get here, let's take a look at the loadout. The rear motor is rated for 750 watts and this is a class 3 e-bike, meaning it can get up to 28 miles per hour on pedal assist, though I found I was getting closer to around 26 miles per hour. Maybe you'll hit 28 if you pedal a bit harder than me, or go into more of a tuck than I was willing to do. On throttle only, you'll still be stuck at 20 miles per hour, which keeps it in the class 2 category for throttle e-bikes. For a fast bike like this, I'm glad to see some good quality hydraulic disc brakes that make it easy to come to a quick and controlled stop. Good brakes are important for me, and these check that box. Now the company did save a few bucks in other areas, such as the fairly basic bargain Shimano shifter and the basic derailleur and back. If you're the kind of rider that will stick to throttle all the time, you won't even notice those. But for my pedalers out there, you'll probably be fine as long as you take care of the bike and don't wrap it around a tree or anything. These shifters and derailleurs, they're basic parts, but you know, they're good enough for casual recreational riding that most of us do. The other area that Ride One Up saved a couple bucks was on the 48 volt 12.8 amp hour battery. It's a bit smaller than most average e-bike batteries these days, but you should still get a solid 20 to 25 miles of range on throttle or around twice that on low power pedal assist. So it's not a big battery, but I think it'll be fine for most people. And while we're at it, the display is pretty bargain basement too. Nothing wrong with it, it's just kind of simplistic. But if it helps keep the price at that low 1295 bucks, then I can support it. Look, there are some definite compromises here. You're not going to get a $4,000 touring e-bike for $1,295. But the Taurus still gives great bang for your buck, and it's worth more than you're paying. Ride One Up has always produced e-bikes that compete with models several hundred dollars more than their own, and that hasn't changed yet. The Taurus here is an excellent starter bike for those that want to mix it up off-road, but still get some good commuter riding in as well. Even the features like the included fenders and LED lighting add to the urban-esque nature of the bike. A rear rack would have been a nice touch if they had included it as standard equipment, but at least there are mounts so you can add one yourself. All in all, I'm thrilled with what I'm getting here for this price. Very few corners were cut to get there, and the important parts like quality brakes and decent suspension are respected, making the result a bike that feels great underneath you, whether you're cruising the dirt and sand or the tarmac and concrete.
Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Ride One Up Tourists. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.